Yeah, these are pretty bright. What's going on you guys? My name is Kirby Downey. Welcome to this awesome quick little video. Voxelab has sent me a resin printer to review and play around and test. I've never really played around with resin printers. I've messed around with Formlabs for an hour or two, um, but that's the extent of my resin printing kind of field. So while I wait for a few more things that I need for the printer, I thought I'd build myself a little UV cure box. You can buy some of these kind of things as like a nail curer or uh, you can go a bit more lagu, sell a specific type of uh, resin curing kind of chamber. But I thought it should be easy enough to build my own, which I did. I just got a little white box. Uh, it's a box that we just we have at work used for shipping nothing specific about the box but it's just a box that we had lying around you can use any box that you have lying i then used a bit of aluminium tape um, to create like a, that's basically reflective surface and basically lined the entire inside of it with that i then bought some cheap uv leds off amazon as well and basically that's all you need a box some reflective tape and some leds and that's it and this is how i made my box so this is the box that i had uh first i cut off these little tabs because i didn't want to have to fold them in there every single time that i did that i then glued some magnets on there that i had left over onto it as well just so that you know it's a way that the box will actually close had a little bit of trouble gluing these these to the to the actual cardboard but i eventually got there i covered with a bit of tape uh, at the bottom of the box just to close it up i then started to put the aluminium tape over it uh, layering it little by little using a little card just to kind of press it in and get it stuck to the cardboard i then realized i had to actually collapse the box to do this next bit easier to do the inside um, so i basically just layered it back on bit by bit until like basically completed the whole inside of the box. Then folded up the box all together. And then I pulled out my LEDs. I made the mistake of uh, unspooling it straight away and realizing that's going to make it so much harder. So I spooled it back up. I passed the wire through the side of the box. Taped it up again just so that the box could always stay closed. But okay. My dog's squeaking his toy. What a time to do this. Quick, I want you to chew your toy. All right, so I just peeled off the adhesive back of the LED lights and just stuck it onto the box. You don't have to put it on every single face uh, because it is reflecting. And look at that, a UV cure box. I have no clue if this is going to work or not. Um, I assume it is. Uh, people have told me it will. So hopefully it does work. So let's just one way to find out. Got to print something. So I'm waiting for some resin to, to arrive um, and I need to just get a couple of things, some isopropyl alcohol as well to be able to actually start printing. Then I'm going to do a full unboxing live stream of the printer. Hopefully I'll get my first print going in that live stream. And then uh, eventually I'll make a full video and a full review on the actual printer. Voxelab has sent me this printer at no charge uh, for me to review and give my opinion on their new printers. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to the channel to get more uh, videos on resin printing. Um, I've got a couple of ideas of things that I want to make, things I want to do with resin printing. So uh, something I've been wanting to get into for a while. So subscribe to this channel so, and turn on that bell notification so you can get notifications when my videos go on next and when I'm going to be live next. Please like this video if you like this kind of content and please leave a comment down below if you'd like to see more of these review type of videos as well as these kind of little quick little make videos um, as well. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Did I press record? I did.